Previously on Resurrection. When can I see Frederick? He thinks returned are somehow dangerous. He tried to have Jacob taken away. I promise we'd round them all up. I'm gonna look for an apartment. But you're not safe being alone. I know this is hard, but maybe God knew this child would need you. His name's Arthur Holmes. He died in 1935. I came to visit. You know him? No, he worked at the factory. I was just a child. But these bones? I think they're returned. They could be from the 1930s. It's happened before. If you have something solid for us, I'll give you access to your body. It's me. I've got something for you. Hey, Dad. They've all got something in common, more than just being returned. I think they were all killed. I think we could be looking at a murder. Morning, Lucille. Morning. I'm just getting some herbs for breakfast. Why don't you sit down for a while? You don't want Jacob to see you like that. I know we didn't always see eye to eye. I'm your mother-in-law. Those are the rules of the universe. He died today. 32 years ago. October 28th, 1982. Every year, on this day, I take flowers to his grave. The walk by the river, where he... having him back, it's a miracle. But it doesn't erase what it felt like to lose him. 
Nothing could make a mother forget that. But you're not alone. You have your family. And you know what? Some of our best times together have always involved a big meal. Why don't I cook us a family dinner tonight? And we'll turn what was a day of sadness into a day of celebration. I'll cook pork chops and apple soup. <laughs> Still Jacob's favorite. <laughs> it's settled that. I can already tell this day is taking a turn for the better. You're up early. How'd you sleep? I didn't. I was up all night. Thank you for making the coffee. Hope it's not too weak. I'll take what I can get right now. How did those bastards know those were returned bones? Small town. Word travels fast. But you talked to them, right? After they took the bones? They didn't say anything about it? No. You think they were surveilling my office? No, I don't think so. Well, they obviously know a lot more than they're letting on. We can still identify those remains. I was looking through the coroner's report. We know they died in the 30s. One was black, one was white. And the white guy had a knee problem that would have made him walk with a limp. Maybe these could be the first return. Yeah. If you need me today, I'll be drowning in a sea of manila files. And I'll be drowning in a sea of snotty kids and middle-aged back problems. We can't avoid each other. Yep. <laughs> it's sad. So many to choose from. I know. Um, look. Tom's gonna set me up in another place, so I'll be gone soon. You don't need to worry about me much longer. Folic acid is good for brain and spinal cord development. Um, Omega-3 is good for neurological and vision. You know a lot about this. Unfortunately, I never got as far along as you. I... It is okay. I've made my peace with it. Janine. Thank you for letting me stay at your home. I know it can't be easy. Rachel? Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I just... It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, just breathe. Oh, uh, we'll get you to the doctor. Okay, just keep oh. breathing. Help me, please. It's hot. as ever. You don't know the half of it. So, was there something specific you wished to discuss, or did you just wish to have breakfast with your dear old ma? No, oh, not always, ma. But, yeah, no, there is. I'm working on this case right now. The bones you found at the river. Mm. I have to say, in all my years in Arcadia, I don't think I've ever heard anything so grisly. So you don't have any idea where they might have come from? Well, why on earth would I? Well, I don't have anything definite yet, but there's an indication that these bones were originally buried beneath the floor of the factory, right below the old finishing room. You have any idea how that could be? It's possible there is an old cemetery under there. That's what I thought. No, I mean, these bones are from the 30s, way after the factory was built. I don't have the faintest idea. Yeah. I mean, I didn't think you would. I'm probably barking up the wrong tree anyway. Mm. Are you hungry? 
I make a decent cheese omelet. Oh, I doubt that. <laughs> I bet you're looking forward to a home-cooked meal. Henry didn't call you. Oh. We're having a family dinner tonight at the house at 6.30 sharp. There's no need to bring anything. No. Ma, your daughter's already been since... invited and has accepted. Right. Listen, Ma. You're... I'm your mother. I'm back. For all I know, I could be gone tomorrow. And this is what I want. You will not defy me on this, Frederick. Well, how's living with Lucille? We're getting along famously. Oh, it's been a while since we broke out the good china. Yes, Jacob's been a good little helper with a place settings, right? Let's make sure we use the Royal Dolton dinner plates and not the Wedgwood. They won't go with the new color you painted the dining room. You still have them all, yes? I'm already on it, Margaret. Wonderful. Henry, can you go fetch the rest of the groceries out of the car? I'm going to go take a shower. Ma, I really wish you wouldn't drive the car alone. You don't even have a license. Nonsense. I've been driving since I was 11. Jacob, Fred and Maggie have both confirmed, so make sure you set two more place settings. Sure, Grandma. Lucky Janine was there, huh? Yeah. She was amazing. Anyone would have done the same. Still feeling okay? Yeah, just a little embarrassed. Nothing to be embarrassed about. It's typical to experience cramping between the 15th and 18th week. You're at 16, right? Yeah. The uterus has grown to accommodate the baby, which, as you can imagine, can be painful. And there we go. Heartbeat sounds good. <sighs> Strong. Let's take a look, okay? Everything okay? I think something's wrong with the scale on the screen. Can you take a look? What's going on? The baby seems to be perfectly healthy. But I'm going to have to confirm a few measurements because right now what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling isn't making sense. Okay, what do you mean? I don't know how else to say this. It's growing twice as fast as a normal fetus. Yes, of course. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's go pick some flowers. Did Aunt Barbara have a funeral, too? Y yes. We had one for both of you. She's back, right? Like me? Yes. Then why isn't she coming to dinner? It's complicated. But I want to see her. I want to apologize. Apologize? For what? For not saving her. You have nothing to apologize for. Let's go outside. But I want her here. You're being petulant right now. Stop it. Come on. I'm sorry. It was an accident. Don't. You've done enough. Go outside.
I know Fred was angry at me when I came back. I didn't know what else to do. Yes, well, <clears throat> Barbara, I'm not here to rake you over the coals for a decision that you made 32 years ago. You're not? Although I admit, I've been tempted. So why are you here? I can't tell you why all this is happening. Personally, I don't think that we'll ever know. But there's at least one thing that I've taken away from the past few weeks. To return, have a remarkable power to heal old wounds. If we're open to it. What do you want me to do? It's not what I want. It's for Jacob. Okay, do you need anything? Do you want a hot water bottle? Oh, no, thank you. I think I just uh, want to be alone. Okay, yeah. Do we wake you up for dinner? Uh, sorry, what? Nothing. Get some rest. Quite a shock, all of this. Yes, it is. We had talked about finding her a new place. I know, I know. I, it's not I... necessary. Considering what she's going through, she can stay. It's not easy, is it? Raising a little boy. Try two of them. They eat you alive and then ask for seconds. Seems like everything I do lately is wrong. Fred was like that as a boy. We were always at odds. And then he met that girl, Barbara, when he was only 14. The way he carried on with her. Drinking, comforting. I could just feel him slipping away from me for good. It's all ancient history now. For you, maybe. Oh, yeah, latest coroner's report. Yeah, I already saw that. Saw this? Work. <clears throat> you know, the, the article. Research. I can see that. About what? You give me a closet to work out of, the least you could do is stay out of it. I'm sorry, Agent Bellamy, for invading your space. Will you please tell me what you're researching? I think I made some progress ID in the bones. What's this trucking accident have to do with it? One of the return skeletons had a congenital knee problem. See the knee brace? Mm hmm. I think that could be our victim. You found all that already? Sometimes it's just get lucky. You get a name? Not yet, just a photo. There's something else. Arthur Holmes, the return that was living in Caleb's old hunting shack. Mm -hmm. I think that's him. He told me he died in the fire. What are you saying? He lied about his own death? All I know is the stories don't add up. All right, well, let me know when you ID Mr. Leg Brace. Yes, sir.
a picture. Yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite. No, I meant you. Thank you. I didn't think you'd come. Yeah, well, you'll find when your grandmother tells you to do something, you do it or else. <laughs> Fred. Luce. Just leave it on the table. Who's that? I didn't think she'd show up. I want to see who it is. Aunt Barbara! <laughs> Hi, Lucille. Hi, Barbara. That's your famous rhubarb pie. I haven't tasted that in 30 years. Come on in here. Hey, Jacob. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. I tried to save you. I know. I slipped. Chain. The refrigerator looks like it's from the future. Well, that's a surprise. Yes, it is. It smells good. Your father would put three of these away in a single sitting. Hmm. No surprise he died of a heart attack. Hey, Ma. Yeah. I forgot to ask you something earlier today. Do you remember a factory worker from the 30s named Arthur Holmes? Can't say that I do. You sure? He was there when Grandpa Anderson was the foreman. Frederick, I was just a girl then. No, I know, but you used to... I've already told you. I have no idea how those old bones of yours ended up in the factory. Frankly, I don't believe they were ever there. You've always had an overactive imagination. Yeah. It's quite something seeing Barbara. She hasn't changed a bit. You don't have to worry about that, Ma. It's over between us. I've heard that before. Fred? Henry? We're two chairs shy. Would you boys go fetch them from the basement? Dr. Langston said to drink as many fluids as possible. How do you feel? Something is happening inside my body. And... I don't understand it. I know it must be scary, but you were born to do this. It's the most natural thing in the world. Oh, maybe not the most natural thing in your case. <laughs> that makes you special. I want you to know that you're not alone in any of this. I'll help you every step of the way. So I hear there was a tree down in Brooks Bend. Yeah, I saw that. How'd you come? Province. Left on Pretty Brook. Uh, family really knew how to make them back then. 
I mean, look at the detail on that crest rail. All anybody really cares about is can you sit on it? Yeah. I guess it never really was your thing, huh? So how's it been? Having Ma back. You know, I realize that I've been alive longer than she ever was. Yet I still feel like the child in the relationship. Nothing will ever change that. Fred. You're my brother. That I am. You on call tonight? No, I was checking to see if Marty called. Hmm. It's business, Dad. I was hoping he was able to identify the bones from the river. You hear anything? No, I mean, he did mention something about Arthur Holmes having some connection to it all, but... Arthur? You should talk to Grandma about him. Why? She visited him at the clinic before he disappeared. She said she remembered him from the factory. He worked there when she was a kid. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I'll ask her. And there was this ox. And it had one horn, and it was just staring at me like, hey, you're not supposed to be here. And there was these really big melons. It was crazy. Wow. Such a remarkable story. More amazing every time I hear it. <laughs> Would you like some wine, Fred? I'm good, thanks. Mm. Looks like we're out. I'll go get another bottle. No, I'll get that. I can do it. Now let me help you with that, Dad. <laughs> had no business inviting that woman. Insensitive, that's what it is. Jacob wanted her here. It's no different from you inviting Fred. Uh, Fred is family. He's my son, Henry's brother. He tried to take Jacob away. Fred is a victim in all of this. All of our trouble started with that girl. No, I mean, it's true. Uh, it's the little things like um, ring pulls on soda cans. Whoever decided that they needed improving, they were just fine as they were. Yeah, except for when they broke. Well, life isn't perfect, and it's not supposed to be. I agree with your mom. I mean, so much has changed. Like, nobody fixes anything anymore. Right? Something breaks, you throw it away. That's true. It's like, um, whatever happened to TV repairman. Exactly. Margaret, could you pass me the whipped cream, please? So, what have you been doing since you returned, Barbara? You and, um, what's his name again? Ma. Sam. Oh, we're good. It's just a lot of time has passed. That it has. You didn't bring him this evening? I didn't think that that would be appropriate. No, that would not have been appropriate. Have you ever built a house? A house? No, just furniture. But actually, I was thinking... Maybe you could start helping me in the wood shop. Really? Yes. It's important to pass those skills along. Besides, I'm gonna need a good right-hand man if I'm gonna reopen that factory. Well, I think that's a fine idea. Mm hmm? <laughs> I can't tell you what a joy it is to see the family gathered around the table like this. Fred? Henry, Jacob, Margaret, Lucille. And Aunt Barbara. Yes, Barbara too. When I returned, I wrestled with why. Why me and not somebody else? What made me so special? Well, I now believe I have the answer. The history of the Langston family is a storied one, dotted by struggle and difficult times. We've weathered them in the past, and together we will weather them again. It is my purpose, my mission, to bring this family back together. 
to overcome this dark time. We're Langstons. We must always protect our own, no matter what. Here, here. Here, here. Well, I think I'll get us all some coffee. Jacob, grab some of those dirty dishes. Hey, Fred, it's me. I wanted to talk to you about this Arthur Holmes stuff. I don't know what it all means, but I think it's leading back to the factory. I'm gonna head over there now, see if I can figure any of this out. Call me back if you get a chance. Is there anything as innocent as a child's laughter? You laughed all the time as a baby. I did. More wine, Barbara. Fred, do you remember? Do I remember? Her little legs would kick like crazy every time she giggled. <laughs> you were so beautiful. Thanks to us. She sure is. I didn't hear my son's laughter for 32 years. What was that you said, dear? You sit around here drinking your wine, talking about the good old days. You killed him. You killed my son. Hold on a second. Let me... Shut your mouth, Fred. It was an accident. An accident? It was no accident that you went down to the river to screw Sam Cat. Hey, Lucille, stop. Adults are talking here, Maggie. If you had ended that affair when Henry told you to, my son would never have died. I, I said that I am sorry. Not to me, you didn't. And all the I'm sorry's in the world are not going to bring back those lost years. Okay, that's enough, Lucy. Don't you think for one moment I don't remember what you did. Right now, my son should be sitting at this table with his wife and his own children, and you robbed him of that. You stole my son from me. My heart. I say you should understand, but you know what? You have no idea what it is to be a mother. I don't need to listen to this. Barbara. Uh, Barbara. Frederick. Barbara. Barbara, wait. Hey. I'm sorry. She didn't have any right to say what she said in there. Yes, she did. I don't deserve her forgiveness. Or anyone's. I know how you feel. The shoe that you left? I was wearing it when I died. Did you find my body? I had let it go. Did you? Find something? I got your message. Find anything? No. You? No. What was that? Here! 
somebody in there. Okay, it's okay. Lee. It's my deputy's brother. He's a nasty son of a bitch. He died 15 years ago. Oh, help me. I'm sick. Oh. We gotta get him to Maggie. All right, I got you. <laughs> Maggie! Another one? He's hurt. Let's get him into the exam room. Turned, and they're all sick. Why did I Barbara leave without saying goodbye? Manners were never her strong suit. Aren't you sleepy? Not really. You? No. But we must try. Close your eyes, and I'll tell you a story. Can it be a scary one? Those are the only kind I know. There once was a village where there was a very happy family who employed all the villagers. Times were good and all was well. Until the demons arrived. They spread fear and panic. And worst of all, made the happy family turn on each other. It was a dark until a brave few, including a little girl, banded together to face the demons. But bravery was not enough. Even though they slayed the demons, they came back again and again. None of their methods worked. Not hanging, nor shooting, nor fire. But in the end, the villagers did finally figure out how to banish the demons. It was a secret buried long ago. Many years passed, and only the little girl, now grown up, was still alive to remember the demons and the secret of how to kill them. The responsibility fell on her and her alone to protect her family, no matter what even after the little girl had become a demon herself. But in the end, she was successful. And everyone was happy. <laughs>